Hey there, my name is Gabriel Ives and I'm from the Amtral Technical Service Department. Welcome to another Tech Take. Today we're going to be talking about sizing an RP unit and what we should be looking for. So let's jump into the presentation here. We've got three things that we're looking for. That's going to be the pipe diameter, the incoming flow, and the incoming pressure. All right, so let's start with the pipe diameter. Why does this matter? The pipe diameter matters because we have minimum flow requirements. For each of the tanks, you have different pipe sizes. Those different pipe sizes support different volumes of flow. So the RP10 is going to need a pipe diameter of 3 quarter inch. The RP15 is going to need 1 inch. And the RP25 is going to need 1 and a quarter inch. So the reason why we needed these requirements for the diameter of the pipes is because we need minimum flow for these RP units. So let's talk about that. The minimum flow. The RP units have the exact same motor housing, however they have different impellers. The impellers are set up for different incoming flow values. So you have the RP10, 15, and 25, and they all require different flow values. So the RP10 requires 10 GPM, RP15 requires 15 GPM, and RP25 requires 25 GPM incoming flow. So how do we know what our flow is? Well, what I would suggest is doing a bucket test. How do we do this? Well, you take a five gallon bucket, just like the one that you'd find at your local hardware store, and you'd time how long it takes to fill the bucket. You'd wanna do this somewhere near the inlet of your system. So that's gonna be the closest thing to the street, uh, as long as it doesn't have anything hindering the flow. Um, and uh, you're gonna time how long it takes to fill the bucket. So for an RP10, 10, 10 GPM, uh, we're gonna look for 30 seconds or below. For an RP15, we're looking for 20 seconds or below. For an RP25, we're looking for 12 seconds or below. All right, so once we have our flow value, what's the next thing? That's gonna be pressure. So these RP units require a minimum 10 PSI to function. So that 10 PSI has to be coming from your street and it has to be non-hindered. So in order for the pump to be able to boost the pressure, you need 10 PSI. And if you don't have that, you can't use an RP unit. All right, so as far as sizing goes, that's everything I have for you. Thank you very much for watching this Tech Take. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Please call this number above or visit our website at www.amtral.com. And that's right here. You have a great one.